I was out testing the car, getting ready for Grand Prix. I was doing 150 mile an hour, and this car just spun in front of me. I shouted out, Jesus Christ, I'm gonna die. That wasn't a cry for Jesus help me. How was I to know that my life would change so significantly? When I was born again, my whole life changed. You might be saying in your heart, but Maruti, exactly how can I be born again? We have come from the south to the north, and there's not a city that we haven't touched with the power of the gospel. And let me tell you a real gospel. What I was exposed to in that week was people just dying. I mean, children being found under trees, wandering around the dead bodies of their parents. I cried out to the Lord. I said, oh God, what do you want me to do? And he spoke to me and he said, I want you to do whatever you can do and I will be with you. mixture of milk and oil and sugar. And you can see how many children we feed in here today. It's such a joy to our hearts to be able to keep expanding. And we've been able to feed these tens of thousands of children, over 50,000 children, run the orphanage, do the gospel crusades. You know, I think when you get to a point that you're prepared to take whatever you have and put it into something that you truly believe in, I think that kind of passion doesn't diminish with time. I want us to give God the biggest praise and the biggest hand clap for the life and the faithfulness of evangelist Peter Pretorius. My dad and I traveled this continent and we shared a dream. A dream that children would not only not die in Africa, but that they would truly thrive. And that is the story of death-defying faith. It's a story of a man who dedicated his life with a faith that truly was death-defying and transformed the lives and changed the world for so many. It's a story that has to be told. Join us as we chronicle Peter Pretorius' life and faith, played out through an epic filmed miniseries that retells his amazing life, the conviction that changed Africa during his time on Earth, and a hope that will live on to change the world. Now is the time to link with JAM at a new level of support. Prayerfully consider how you would be willing to serve in the production of the Death Defying Faith miniseries. I know that Peter's story and his faith is still defying death, because as it's told, it's going to inspire others to take the next step in their faith. Dad's life was the perfect example of how one life can change the world, as God used his one life to save more than 12 million people through the gospel of Jesus Christ. We will feed a child if you will provide for that child. We will see to it. Even the goat agrees with me. <laughs> he says, yeah, brother. <laughs> yeah, brother. <laughs>